Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your iPhone, iPad, up touch to latest iOS. So, go right into your settings. In your settings, maybe you should see a second option where it says software update available. Don't worry about that if you don't see it. Just make sure you have a backup done before you're doing this. And going to general. Under general, go into your second option, software update. And here you're gonna see the latest one. Now, keep in mind that you're not gonna see the exact same thing I'm looking at if you don't have iOS 15 already installed because this is an additional update. So first you have to update to iOS 15, and then you're gonna see this next update, which is iOS 15.0.1, which is a really small one, it just fixes some glitches. So if you tap on learn more, you're gonna view a little bit more here. I know it's tiny letters, but it lets you know a little bit more about the update itself. I'm just gonna click on down for now. And let's just tap on download and install, putting a passcode if you have one. Once you do that, it's just gonna download and then install. So this does require a restart, obviously. It's not gonna ask you for your Apple ID again, so don't worry about that. And yes, the download process for this one, it's only half a gig, so that's 554 megabytes, which is fairly small. Compared to iOS 15, when you recently downloaded that, it was much bigger. I think it was around three gigs. So again, if you haven't updated to iOS 15, I do have a video about that. And it's gonna be the basic same process, However, I do suggest making update on your computer if it's not working right here. So if you guys don't see an update and you know your iPhone or iPad or touch is compatible, just hook it up to your computer, use Finder on Mac or use iTunes on PC in order to make that update. Now, it doesn't matter if your iPhone or iPad or touch turns off when it's downloading the update, no. Once it's installing, it's a big deal. So make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. And even then I would still hook it up to some electricity just in case. Not everybody's batteries are 100% anymore. So it's better to take those precautions. So again, don't worry if this update tells you that it's two hours or something like that. That's because most people are downloading the update at the same time as you are. So that way it may take longer. It's actually sometimes better to do it the day after, or maybe two days after. That way you won't have all these people rushing in all at the same time. That way it's not gonna take that long to download a very simple update. So at this point you could just leave your iPhone, iPad, touch, just leave it hooked up some electricity so that way it keeps charging. Even if you have more than 50% of your battery, that's just in case. And just let it be, it's just gonna restart by itself. You're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar and then you're gonna be done with the update. All right, so once this has finally downloaded, we can go ahead and press install now. It's just gonna verify the update gonna see an Apple logo in a loading bar. Afterwards, we should see this, as mentioned, an Apple logo in a loading bar. The first one's gonna go pretty slow, the second one's gonna go a lot faster, and then finally, we're gonna be done with the update. So here we go, at this point, we should see this, that it's all up to date, let's just scroll up, put in your passcode if you have one, and then we're done. You can go right into your settings and check if everything went okay. However, this is the latest update, and that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.